What is going on, everybody? I wanted to share with you my thoughts on Adepticon 2019. So I haven't made a ton of videos in the last week or so. I was in Chicago at Adepticon, and then I took the Amtrak train up to Milwaukee uh, to visit friends and see the best painting in the world. Uh, I have a lot of content I'm going to make videos about coming up. I'll probably just crank them out uh, this upcoming week. So be prepared to see a lot of videos and please subscribe. And also make sure you go back to my Nagash giveaway video and comment. Because when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will be giving away Nagash. So most exciting news about Adepticon is... I am the champion. <laughs> uh, actually, I won best appearance for Necromunda with my Goliath gang. And I got this really cool uh, medal. Looks really awesome. Super, like, it seems real high end. It looks very nice. And I'm very happy about it. And also, I won. Uh, Kador gang, which was perfect because at LVO I bought the weapon upgrades from Forge World for the Kador and I needed another box of them. So how perfect is that that I won a gang that I was going to buy anyway. So how fun. I'm just going to start off with I was we went up on Wednesday, me and my buddy, and I had been doing a vegan diet for about 40 days, four zero, 40 days vegan before I got to Adepticon. Now, I planned on not continuing on the vegan diet while there. I knew it would be difficult, and I was expecting some kind of side effects on switching back over. I did not expect the violent stomach problems I suffered for basically the entire time. Uh, starting on day two, because the first day I had some chicken wings and uh, Wendy's. And uh, the second day I had pizza, but basically every moment was uh, an emergency bathroom break potential. So, heads up, I'll probably do some videos, or do a video on talking about the vegan thing that I tried out. Uh, it was pretty fun, I lost like 14 pounds in about 30 days, which was cool. And uh, anyway, so besides bathroom emergencies all week long or weekend long, Adepticon was awesome. I happened to get the upgraded VIG bag, which came with so much stuff, Song of Ice and Fire, two board games, uh, books, or special uh, that special Space Marine, Malifaux, uh, uh, bases, uh, tanks, there was like a pirate miniature, all kinds of cool stuff. I got full Shadespire crew, the goblins, the new ones with the sleeves and the dice in my bag for going. So definitely get the VIP bag if you go. And if you get the opportunity to upgrade to the VIG bag, do it. Super worth it. Lots of cool stuff. So Unfortunately, I had to sell some of that stuff off in a Facebook group called I'm Going to Adepticon, and that was the only one I could find, and luckily found some people to buy some of that because I did not have room in my luggage, and it didn't seem like uh, throwing away my clothes that I brought to fit it was going to be a good idea or still make enough room. So that was unfortunate. I had to get rid of some of it, but it was also nice to get some of the money back that I had spent on the trip. If you haven't been, I highly recommend it. It is my second year. Uh, the Crystal Brush is amazing. You get to see all the best painted miniatures that people are competing with. I'll have my own separate video on that. All the events are great. The first year I went, uh, I played in the 40K championships. This year I did not play 40K because when I did that the first year, it was like four games in one day and my body was just hurting the rest of the weekend. Uh, so this year I played Necromunda. That's how I won Best Painted. As far as my record, I went 1-1-1, win-loss-draw. 
very, very happy with the Necromunda players. Uh, I was worried it was going to be a very competitive min-max kind of environment, and it turned out the Necromunda community came through because everybody was there having a really good time, and it was super fun. Crazy missions, all kinds of great stuff. Only critique on that was if you had an injury and your gangster missed a game, he actually missed the next game, and in a three-round tournament, uh, that could be a little unfortunate. In my final game, I only had six guys against ten and uh, that's not very good but oh well I had fun uh, I did a painting class uh, with Ricardo I did non-metallic metal let's see if we can get this let's see if we can show you that uh, he actually you can see his work he won best uh, unit with like non-metallic metal gold marines so I did a non-metallic gold class Hopefully you can see that horn. I did both horns there. Uh, well, yeah, well, hopefully you can see that pretty good. But I think it's having trouble focusing because of my face. Maybe if I take it out. I don't know. Anyway, the painting classes are super worth it. Uh, I only did one. It was, you know, I like to just try to take one or two usually. I think next year I might do two or two events plus one class. Uh, but if you're going to go, like, it's not like you're going to learn the most things ever, but it just puts a lot of things into perspective that will help you improve. Uh, hopefully one day maybe I'll paint or teach, like, a painting class or have something related as to my paintbrushes maybe like being a vendor or something along those lines or like a vendor but I could also teach at the booth or something I don't know uh, that'll be in the future it looked like everybody had an amazing time it's definitely definitely worth it if you're anywhere near the event to go check it out just for the hobby and just seeing all the beautiful painted armies and display boards and the vendor hall is so fun there's so many vendors if I had a critique on LVO, which I attended this year, if they could just basically double or triple their like convention aspect, they obviously got the tournaments down for their events, but they need to like double down or triple down on the convention vendors and classes and all those things. And that would really make it feel much more like an Adepticon where it's like a whole event it's not just people there for like one or two tournaments it seems like people are there for such a huge variety of things uh we pretty much stayed at well, we stayed at the Wyndham, which is just on the other side of a little pond and parking lot short walk although it was very cold for me being from phoenix and there being like icy rain in chicago or schaumburg illinois uh but it was totally worth it and you save a bunch of money so if you do go to Adepticon and you don't want to spend the money for the Renaissance, the Wyndham is within a very, very, very short walking distance. So you save the money and you have to walk. Not a big deal. Uh, the hotel's awesome. I don't party, but it looks like if you party, there's always going to be people to be drinking and hanging out with in the lounges and stuff. I got to hang out with the Warhammer 40k couple show, uh, Ethan and Amanda. We were, we were like convention buddies, BFFs, basically. And uh, I did a little sit-down interview with them. That'll be on their channel, so hopefully we'll see that soon. Uh, and, you know, I donated some of my prizes, or not prizes, but swag, I guess, from my VIG bag to them. Uh, so they'll be doing that on their uh, Patreon giveaway, I believe. Or maybe they kept it, I don't know. Uh and that's about it. Uh, I would just say, look, <clears throat> definitely check out Adepticon if you're anywhere within a reasonable amount of drive or have the money to fly and stay in a hotel. Very, very, very fun. I have upcoming videos planned for painting, uh, maybe a more in-depth thoughts on competitive painting, definitely a video planned for the Games Workshop reviews or previews, Games Workshop previews that they did at Adepticon. I got to sit in for that. Super awesome. New Slanesh, going to be great. 
I got videos on quantity versus quality in painting. Um, and I picked up Rumble Slam from TT Combat, I believe is the company. I got a whole bunch of Rumble Slam miniatures. So hopefully we'll get those painted up. If you want to follow along with some of my painting and stuff, make sure you go head over to my Instagram. And that way I don't have to worry about doing like slideshows during these videos. And basically we're just going to be shipping out we're going to start shipping the ghost brush at, by the end of this month. That way I can just kind of cruise into having them all shipped by the end of July, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try and get them done way before that, but, you know, I need to give myself some time. So it's going to be a busy month for me making sure these paintbrushes are perfect for you. And hopefully you'll enjoy the journey on YouTube during that time. The upgrades to the channel with the new camera and the new microphones and all this stuff I've been picking up and just kind of storing away uh, that'll come when I move into a new apartment and have more of a permanent hobby setup like this is permanent but I'm surrounded by basically a horde of hobby supplies so I'd like to get either a two bedroom or one bedroom and basically convert the entire living room into kind of a business slash hobby area because this year after kickstarter i am doing this full time so working for myself i gotta make an office or something right so let me know in the comments below what videos you're excited about definitely gonna be talking about slanesh that's my girl or boy and uh check out instagram i got all kinds of cool stuff coming there too so talk to you soon hopefully you win the gash go comment comment below Peace.